Maybe I'm actually not that talented. Why are other people progressing so? Hey, hello. For this particular video, we will be talking about exploring interests and the process of how do you find your interests, passions, or hobbies. If you're new to my channel, my name is Augustus, and I learn about social barriers and norms to help people become their true self in life. And if you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell, you will keep on having this conversation with me. For this particular section, I want to really talk about how do you go about approaching finding an interest. So this particular section is not really so much about suppressing your emotions, but it's more about how do you go about approaching and finding the right hobby and what is the process of doing that? Because if you don't, then you'll jump from hobby to hobby to hobby and you'll never find anything that's actually like interesting. And I think uh, if we approach things in the right way, we will really start to enjoy that one thing because once you really get into something, get passionate about it, you start to notice all the small nuances, all the small things that you can change and polish to become super good at it. Kind of like a Michelin like level star chef notices all the subtle flavors, all the small presentations, how to actually control food in such a way that it comes out in a spectacular taste. That is the kind of things I'm talking about polishing your craft like uh, so let's get into the process for me i really feel like in order to substantially explore a goal to see if you like it or not you have to spend probably around like a month on it at least and it's not like a oh i go once a week to kind of see what exactly this thing is it's more like a month of really investing listening to people, watching videos, uh, trying to understand the topic, see people who are actually passionate about it, and absorb a bunch of information on that topic, and then practicing on it to really see if you actually like it and appreciate it. Because like, when you first get into anything, it might seem fun or it might seem not. But some of these skill sets will grow on you. So you have to commit a certain amount of time to it. And then I feel like a month is like a good gauge. And if you still don't feel like anything is like good after a month, then you can probably help on to the next one. And another thing is when uh, during this process of exploring interests, it's very easy to get discouraged in the beginning because like when you're learning any new hobbies and new skills, if you have like easy wins in the beginning, so like it's great, it feels good. Like, oh, I'm learning things so fast, like this is great. But then you start to feel and learn the more intermediate things and things start to get harder. And you're like, maybe I'm actually not that talented. Why are other people progressing so much faster than me? How are those people's doing things so well and I'm not able to do that. That starts to being the discouraging part when in reality, that's just part of the process. So when you're exploring your interests into different areas, be prepared to encounter a like steep learning curve where you will hit certain parts where you just have to grind away and practice so you can get better at a different level. So expect things to get harder and it doesn't mean that you're not talented it just means that you have to put in hard work to get great results so you have to expect that those are two points i really want to touch upon and now i'm going to give you some examples like since we're right now just by ourselves and isolation i guess there's something we can do here i want to give you an example first on like say exercise so when you are going into um, exploring your interests, I always find it it's really nice to approach things in terms of projects. Like I want to set a particular goal that's not necessarily too easy or too hard so that I can reach it, but also grow 
and develop skill sets that allows me to get to that point. And here for exercise, let's say I want to make a goal for me to run five miles. So I'm going this this in from a like a newbie standpoint, approaching this goal and be like, okay, when I'm seeing this five miles, I have no understanding about running. So I go and I run my first mile or I walk my first mile because I can't run it. I go and then I sort of feel like, oh man, my, my feet, they kind of hurt a little bit. There, I'm, my body, whole body is so sore. So I go online and I listen to runners and I listen to marathon runners. I listen, listen to sprint sprinters. And I started to learn that there's a difference between the body structure and how you ought to train for a marathon versus a sprinter. For me, I'm trying to run five miles. So that means I have to train something close to a, uh, closer to a marathon that format than a sprinter. So, so I start to work on things that are more characteristics of marathon runners, such as, uh, I make sure that I'm drinking water like before I run and I start to set a regular routine. So next time I'm going on to run, I am making sure that I'm waking up on the right time and I drink water and I run. And I come back and my calves are sore and I start to get like these shin splits. It's like, what the heck? Why is my body hurting? So I go back and I look and say that, okay, you get shin splits because you sprint or like there's so much pressure on your feet and like this is this is the reason why you're getting shin splits so you start icing your foot and you start taking um, precautions to run better and understand that can you see that through this running process you see a problem you see some kind of barrier and you look it up for the solution because People out there have all experienced what you have. There have been experts runners in the world. And by running and experiencing yourself, setting a project, you encounter all these small things that you wouldn't have else like learned about to get um, better as a runner. And you'll eventually start to reach a point where you notice all these small things and you put together and you in like years you'll start to become like this amazing runner and like when other people see you they'll be like man dude how is this guy running so well that's because you went through all the small barriers you went through and solved all the problems and you start experiencing this and this process becomes a hobby it becomes an enjoyment because you enjoy getting better at this craft well, there are times where it's actually frustrating to run or like times when you don't actually want to run or you wake up, you're like, oh, shoot, man, I love to run. Of course, like there will be times when we don't want to do something. But when we set for a particular goal, project for that growth, you really start to feel and enjoy the process because you understand that it will get you to a result The running, in this case, running five miles. But at the same time, something that's irreplaceable is you becoming a person that's capable of getting to that five miles. Because in this whole process, you have grown to be more persistent. You have grown to be uh, a, as someone of a good work ethic. You're a great problem solver. And you have a healthier body now. Like Those are all great traits that comes out of it. So here... This is why like, I really encourage you guys to go out, explore your interests, because it really grows you as a person. Like The same thing can be said for like food, or you can go about painting, learning the little small details. And during this time point, you don't really have much to do. This is the perfect time to go about doing this. Like, think about this. Like, you can spend like a, an hour or two hours watching a movie, but... How much can you really learn and polish your skills in like that, that, that amount of time? A lot. So make use of your time. Um, be wiser with it. Be efficient with it. And I know that you'll be able to develop something amazing. So 
take your time, explore it. Now you understand the process of just how I go about approaching it. And stay safe, wash your hands. And I really hope that this whole situation will calm down in terms of like the whole uh, virus thing. But wash your hands, stay healthy, drink lots of water. And I will talk to you guys next time.